Hello everyone and welcome back to my home. So I'm still a couple weeks short of doing a home tour which I'm so excited to be able to show you all my new furniture and how everything looks all together. But what I am ready to do is to show you the kind of smaller items that I got and they're kind of half home decor, half like more useful kitchen type items. I'm gonna show you my favorite thing that I got first. I've been wanting these for so many years. It's an oil and vinegar dispenser with the spout on it so that you're able to drizzle everything. It's just such a nice elegant stream of olive oil or vinegar. So they say olio and aceito on them and they have the Amalfi lemons painted all over them because they um, came directly from Italy. I love that they have a nice firm handle because there is not any oil on them now but I could see how that could happen with cooking so it's not slippery or anything like that and they're quite oversized so they're a bit of a decorative statement in my new kitchen and I just absolutely love them. I think it's little things like this that help to make a new apartment really feel like a home so this is actually one of the first things I ordered once I found this place and they actually came quite quickly so I'll link them down below for you. There's lots of different styles available. I'm just very partial to the dark blue. I really like dark blues and teals in a kitchen um, along with the lemons of course. Next up let me show you my housewarming gift. So this is a marble effect vase from I believe it's from EQ3. I'll see if I can link it down below but it's a really gorgeous kind of rosy marble. It really reminds me a lot of my coffee table. I love how it's got cream and lilac and pink running through it. I've just got some carnations in here now, but it came with some beautiful flowers, so that was such a wonderful gift. And I can't wait to also put sunflowers in it because I think that will look really nice. You know, the kind of more dressy vase with rustic sunflowers in it. Those are my favorite flowers for fall, so um, that's definitely something you'll probably be seeing in my home quite a bit. And then Pottery Barn had a big sale, so I went and got a few things. I limited myself. This was always very difficult. Um, I think I have a mild addiction to decorative cushions, but I forgive myself for it because I usually only buy a couple of per year really. I've just kind of built up a bit of a collection. But it's one of the easiest ways to switch up your home decor, especially on a sofa. And my sofa really is, uh, my sectional is going to be the last piece I think that makes me ready for the home tour because right now I still don't have one. Um, so I'm definitely not ready to show you the apartment until that happens. Um, but I did get this um, cushion with that sectional in mind. And it's a really nice kind of like mink effect. If you are a fan of the faux fur look in a home, especially for fall, I am. I really think it makes a space very cozy and warm and inviting. Um, I do think Pottery Barn has the best and I have tried the faux fur at all the major retailers and I think um, Pottery Barn has the softest and it does often go on sale. I'm still extremely happy with the blanket that I got from them um, last year which is a bit more of like a brown warm color. This is a little bit more cool tone but it's still got a nice creaminess and what I really love is the texture. So you can see it's kind of shorn to have slightly longer and shorter areas to it which I think makes it look and feel extra lush and luxurious. Um, so I really like it and I like the size of it as well. It's not massive and it's not tiny either. It's somewhere between 16 inches um, and I think it's a really nice size so that the faux fur isn't like overwhelming. It's not all you're going to be able to see on the couch. It's not going to disguise the couch but it'll add a really nice element of softness and really complement the leather of the couch. So I got this um, and then what I was really in there for is this enormous bag of towels. So I got four large ones and four small ones but I'll show you one of each. Um, so this is the color I chose and it's it's showing pretty true to color. It's kind of like a pebble gray. It has a tiny hint of blue in it to make it a little bit softer. And my goodness, are these ever lush. So I've done the whole Home Sense towel thing for just a really long time and it's just time for a new set um, because mine are very stained with makeup especially. So um, I think they've been bleached one too many times and they've got a bit rough from that. I've had them about six years now so I'm gonna keep the nicer ones from my white towels and then layer color wise with these new ones so I got four hand towels I don't really use face towels that much and I have some old white ones to use as face cloths anyway um, and then I got the big ones not thick but they're not too thick where they're gonna take a lot of room to store be massively enormous um, but they're still extremely soft 
and kind of cushy. They're definitely the nicest towels I've ever owned. So yeah, I kind of splurged on new towels and that is a nice touch as well in that I'm gonna have a basket of towels in the bathroom. So it's kind of a decor element as well. You can kind of see them and it is kind of, I don't know, I think it's inviting to have a lot of towels and clean towels always out. I change mine pretty frequently, which is why just in terms of laundry, I like having four of each. That way I don't need to worry about it. And then, Every time that I move apartments, which has been way too many times over the last few years, I like to choose a signature scent for that home. So for my last home, that was Carousel um, by Byredo. And I really felt guilty about how expensive these candles are the first one at the time I bought one. And this is only my second time. Um, but then what I realized is that you don't actually have to light it for it to let off um, just the most wonderful scent in your home. It's really surprising to me that every time I walk in, I've got about this much left of carousel. Uh, I can sort of smell it if it's near the entrance with the movement of the air. Um, and I light it once every few months or when I have people over. And so it's kind of a luxury item, but it's also, if it's lasted me for that long, it's actually quite a good purchase. So, I wanted to try a new scent. I do love Carousel. I will link it down below. Um, it's um, gotten a ton of compliments since I've burned it. Every time someone comes over, they always really love the scent. It's sort of fruity, but warm, and it's really a nice scent. Um, and so for this one, I really went the pop culture route. So I believe it was in her Vogue home tour, but Taylor Swift said this was her favorite candle ever. And it's a very woodsy scent. Um, to me, it's quite comparable to Le Labo's Cedar, but it's a little bit sweeter, I would say. So it's definitely got a lot of woodsiness to it as well. Um, it's inspired by famous architects, treehouse-like designs, um, homes that he's um, designed. And yeah, it's definitely got a bit more sweetness than Le Labo Cedar. If you like cedar, you will like this one as well. Um, but I really like the Byredo jars and aesthetic. Um, so I'm excited to have another candle and um, yeah, I think the wax that they're made in France um, is really, really high quality because I definitely get more throw from the unlit candle than I ever have from any other brand. So I think that kind of excuses the price point a little bit and it's just a fun luxury that I treat myself to after a move, I guess, really. Um, so I'm excited to light that the first time when I have my house warming and just kind of enjoy it for special occasions. So. Yeah, it's something I put some thought into. My second choice, where I hesitated between Treehouse and another one, was Bibliotheque, also by Byredo. If um, Treehouse is a little too woodsy for you, then I think you will probably prefer Bibliotheque, which is also wonderful, and it also comes in perfume now as well. And then another item I got is from a local store, which I will link down below. It's called The Cross, and they have these wonderful signs that really were a perfect match for me in my social media life. Um, so I got a big at sign. These are meant to be bookends but I'm only using one of them currently as a bookend and the other one is just on my desk so right now I've got the at sign on my desk and it just kind of um, has a lot of my cards um, next to it so it kind of balances that on my desk and adds a really nice statement I love how substantial it feels it's nice in a home to have elements that are a little bit more chunky and statement like and the other one is a hashtag um, so this is the one I'm using as a bookend currently and it works wonderfully for that so I love both of those and I love a little touch of brass or more than a little I've got a fair amount of brass in my home I've got lots of brass and warm textures and um, warm colors in my home I've definitely styled my place to be kind of permanently fall like um, but you guys will see all of that when I do my home tour so I won't prattle on too much about it down below I will link um, the one furniture item other than the sofa that I'm still waiting for that kind of would have been a good fit for this video it's a stool decorative stool from West Elm which I believe is on sale right now too I'll link it for you because I'm so excited about it and I actually bought one for myself and for my mom so they're on order for both of us right now we can't wait to go pick it up um, and it's from West Elm it's a really really cute stool and it's got a brass element too which is what made me think of it as well as a fuzziness to it as well so there's definitely a theme here and then next this is definitely a more practical item the next two are um, but you'll 
you'll forgive me for that because they really are rave worthy so I wanted to include them in this video. Um, it's taken me years to find a wok that I really really love um, that it's easy to clean you know it doesn't stick but it's not Teflon so this is a ceramic wok that I purchased from Amazon from a brand called Ozeri. Um, I'll link the size and everything down below. I like that it came with this felt insert to kind of protect the ceramic when you store it so you don't, obviously don't cook with this and you take it out. Um, but it's enormous you can see it's the size of my upper body so you can cook food for a tribe in it and um, it's just so good. Um, there's not a single scratch on it so far and I absolutely love cooking with it and I definitely used to have the assumption that woks were only for cooking stir fries or Asian food. That is definitely not the case or at least not the, not the case for me. So it may not be authentic but I've been making, making a lot of risotto in here or just quick dishes that need a big pan. This works so well for because it just doesn't stick and there's something about the shape of it that allows liquid to evaporate really well so if you make a lot of risotto I strongly recommend that you at least try once to use a wok for it because I have to say it's my favorite thing that I've ever cooked risotto in. It seemed to go a little bit quicker in terms of absorbing the liquid than it normally does and as you know it needs to be added ladle by ladle so it can take a little bit of time but a combination of that plus my gas stove made risotto just like a cinch. It was done like lickety split and delicious. And then finally I wanted to end this video by unboxing my new Pride and Joy. Um, it better be that given the price point but a Le Creuset lasts for life and I have a smaller one that I use almost every day really whenever I cook anything. I make a lot of stews in it but I found that I wasn't able to make as big of a batch as I would have liked sometimes so this is really meant for soups and stews and then things like smaller dishes like a dish with meat or something like that will be made in my smaller Le Creuset or I can cook two things at once which is just like mind-blowing but um, the box is really deceiving it's not orange of course you'll be very surprised to learn that I got Caribbean because that's what um, I have for my accessories already and I just absolutely love the ombre finish of it so I ordered this because it's actually quite hard to find in stores a lot of the ones I seem to find in stores a lot right now are the blueberry color or a lighter blue and they're both flat so they don't have the ombre effect whereas this as you can see does and I will link all the details for it down below, but I thought I would show it off, my new darling. Um, I absolutely love this. I may even, for a little while at least, just leave it on the stove all the time so I can look at it because it just makes me so happy. So, yeah, that's it for this video. My Dutch oven and I will now say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this. It's really just a preview of things to come, but I still wanted to take the time to share it with you so that... A lot of these smaller items won't get lost when I do do my home tour and then you can see them incorporated properly into the decor when I do take you around. So thank you so much for all your support and for your wonderful comments on my last few videos. I feel really excited about all the content that I have to come for this fall and just everything with my launch as well. I've been really enjoying making all your orders. I'm overwhelmed by how many there are and so thankful. So thank you so much for everything. I really wanted to take the time to say that. So yeah, thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.